All right, this is just a ancillary video to uh, my whole home generator install. I'm gonna install the Micra Air Easy Start Soft Starter on two of my train XR heat pumps. So we got a two and a half ton and a four ton. Uh, there's two different models that I had to get. Um, and you can go to Micro Air's website to make sure you get the right model. So unfortunately, I don't have enough room down here. You know, I've measured all this. There's just not enough room even to cram this thing in here. So we're gonna mount it externally. It is rated, weather rated to be out, outside. And I'm just gonna mount it right here uh, on the outside. It'll block some louvers, but it won't be a big deal. There's so much surface area of louvers. I gotta drill a hole through here uh, so I can bring you know, the cord up through the bottom. And uh, before we do any of that though, I uh, pulled the plug, got the power disconnected here so it's safe. Yeah, put the, you know, um, wrench across the capacitor terminals, discharge that. You guys have seen these videos before, you know what to do. Anyway, so we're gonna start by drilling a hole and we're gonna mount this guy out here. And uh, I'm gonna put a little, had some scrap metal. I'm gonna, uh, cut me a little roof to go over top of it, you know, to keep the rain off of it and uh, to keep it out of direct sunlight because, you know, over the years, direct sunlight can deteriorate a lot of stuff, especially plastic parts. So anyways, that's the deal. We'll get going. All right. So we got our hole drilled. Uh, we got my little clamp fits right up through there now. So that's where we'll bring uh, the wire from the soft starter. And I just used a very cheap Harbor Freight step drill bit here. And uh, you can see I used a pencil mark to make sure I didn't make the hole too big. So I encourage you to do something like that. And you see what I'm doing here? Um, made a couple marks, so I'm gonna cut this across here. We'll have a little, about a three quarters of an inch on over, each side. And then we'll have, you know, overhang so the rain uh, doesn't fall directly on this. So this is what we got. I got my little rain cover. I used two uh, self-tapping screws at the top, one at the bottom. I misdrilled down here. You guys probably see that. This is the one I should have drilled first because it was the hardest one to uh, to get in the right spot. But, you know, an extra hole in the grate doesn't make any difference. And uh, you can see it's just running down. And with my removable panel, we take that off. I just got it cut right up through the bottom and we've got plenty of wire left over to make my connections inside. All right, there are plenty of videos on how to connect an easy start. We're not showing all the details, but I strip back uh, this gray sheathing. Just be very careful so you don't cut any of these wires. The step-by-step -step instructions for the easy start are, I mean, it's ridiculously easy. But you know, I read through these a couple times, highlighted, so I didn't miss anything. You do need you a good terminal crimper you'll have to crimp on four terminals and you know have the appropriate terminals to do that now i found that i needed a, a yellow butt connector and a lot of these packs that you buy don't have yellow butt connectors as you can see there so uh, make sure you got a yellow butt connector everything else took um the blue terminal connectors like here and uh, one over here which you can't really see and then we had a yellow terminal connector here to hook up to the contactor. So anyways, um, I'm pretty pleased with this. I got my rain guard. You can see, got this all tightened in here so it's not going anywhere. Use some zip ties to keep the wiring neat. It'll tuck right in there. And now it's time to fire this thing up. good news is it works so you can't hardly mess that wiring up but I'm really happy about this it's gonna have a nice rain guard it's gonna be shielded from the Sun due to the wall and due to that uh, heat pump housing itself and um, really happy so I'll just duplicate that exact same thing over here uh, on the four ton all right, so I got the unit installed on my four ton right there, exact same install. So I'm going to attempt to um, start it. Well, unfortunately I could not start it remotely in video at the same time. Uh, needless to say, it sounds a lot quieter when it starts up and I'm gonna post the stats. Uh, for the first startup, uh, maximum current draw 
And then the second startup maximum current draw, which is this one, so you can see how the micro air actually improves its ability to reduce startup amps or peak amps uh, with the first five starts during the learning phase. Thanks for watching.